How are you, Babisha? Yeah, I'm fine. How are you? Okay, you are live now on Facebook, so you can start now. Okay. Uh, okay. Can we start now? Ah uh, yes. Okay. Okay. My name is Bhavisha Patel, and I am assistant professor at uh, Faroe University mm -hmm. uh, in electrical department. And today we are going to conduct a webinar on the recent trend in the automotive industry in the electrical vehicles in a like uh, recent revolutions. And uh, today uh, I have uh, heartily invited you to Miss Poonam Nasir, who is who has worked in the software training engineer at the Continental Private Limited at the Pune. And uh, today we have the opportunity to hear your thoughts, and will surely be going to encourage us. Thank you. Yes. So Miss, you can start. Uh, okay. Thank you, Favisha for this and okay. first of all uh, who all are watching this session for uh, welcome to this session and thank you for joining this session so today i am here to talk about uh, future scope of uh, electric vehicles uh, in automotive industry and uh, i hope uh, you all had a good start of this day so and uh, before going to the presentation uh, let me give my some short introduction and so myself Poonam Nasit and uh, basically I am from Surat uh, and currently I am in uh, Bangalore right now and I completed my graduation uh, in 2020 electronics and uh, communication engineering and uh, then after I joined Continental in last year so and uh, in that I am working in automotive industry as a software development team and uh, then uh, let's begin to the, the session so that's all about me okay so guys if you have any doubt and if you want to know more about uh, like uh, automotive industry and if you want to ha need any help so i already shared my linkedin profile to you you can ping me in that anytime so okay So let me my share my screen. Am I audible now, Bhavisha? Proper? Audible. Ah, okay. You can start. Yes, yes. We have only yes, eleven yes. fifteen. Yes, yes, yes. I'm yes, going yes. to share my screen. Uh, okay. It's visible to you. Screen is visible. Okay. Okay. So electric vehicle. <laughs> so let's start to the first topic. What uh, we'll cover in this PPT? So these all are uh, topics. So what is electric vehicle history, main components, how does it work, major factor, ecosystem. This all are we cover in this uh, presentation, OK? So uh, first of all, you already know about what is electric vehicle. So electric vehicle uh, running by one and more uh, electric motors, right? And uh, obviously, uh, batteries are is main component for that electric vehicle. So and in engine vehicles compared to electric car are noiseless it is the you already know say, have no exhaust emissions lower emissions overall then after electric vehicle for charging purpose uh, used also renewable sources also like uh, wind solar uh, biogas power plants like that so and uh, you can add also different drive types so in electric uh, vehicles uh, for more efficiency of vehicle improved so this is so let's see next history of electric vehicles so how this electric vehicles uh, come when it uh, came so we will see see 1830s first electric vehicle was built so you can see that image by seeing that image you can uh, imagine that model like in 1830s okay then 
wait on huh? one minute okay i got some issue okay Uh, then 1837s electric car begin and uh, you all uh, know this is very important point here inventor of electric vehicle uh, was robert anderson and then after 1841 uh, robert anderson built uh, a new version electric train car okay then Okay, then 1884, inventor Thomas Parker created the uh, electric vehicle in London. Okay, so see that uh, model in that uh, image. Then after uh, in uh, USA, 1890, by William Morrison, uh, produced the electric uh, vehicle. Uh, this has a six seater, and the speed was uh, 14 mile per hour. Okay, so this is the USA model, and this is the London model. you can see here then after 1900 hyday hyday is a uh, electric vehicle name for uh, that uh, time so and then uh, 1908 uh, henry ford uh, introduced model t so why model t you can see that uh, image it's sh sh shape like uh, t type okay then then 1974 when uh, gard se brings uh, electric vehicle come then 1988 uh, gm e1 means uh, general motor electric vehicle and 1997 to 2000 a few thousand electric cars uh, available for only lease purpose okay then uh, 2007 uh, tesla or star and all electric vehicles uh, come this is the history of electric vehicle okay so let's main components of this electric vehicle uh, you can see here uh, original car inside this uh, type of uh, construction is there for electric vehicle and uh, this is the uh, overview of like uh, batteries and uh, battery pack available motors inverters like that okay then uh, we'll see the depth uh, this is the battery pack inside this electric vehicle charger is there fuel storage and uh, electric motor is there engine radiators like that this is the all high voltage batteries uh, used uh, for uh, battery regulation and charger purpose okay electronic box high uh, air conditioning also is there and uh, transmission including also is there brake system cooling system this all are you already know about that i think and external charging source power electronics this all uh, is available in electric car okay so how does this electric vehicle works this is uh, inside structure i am going to tell you so you can see okay wait huh. you can see here this is the dashboard of this electric vehicle okay and this is the battery pack second number okay battery pack of that uh, engine like you can say this is the third one is a uh, manually electric uh, plugged uh, battery charger okay this is for uh, you i already told about uh, renewable sources for uh, power get and the power charging purpose like that okay so when you start the ignition means when you start the vehicle this uh, controller collect energy from this battery pack okay then this uh, controller moves this uh, electric uh, more energy to the mechanical energy and then uh, motor move okay then uh, this electric car moving then after if you after this uh, battery also we need to charge right so then after this is the manual uh, plug uh, charge also is there so you can uh, charge by manually this battery and then also you can uh, use this uh, renewable sto uh, storage like biogas plant whatever uh, wind all are for that okay so also here you can see when the pedal is pushed the controller gather energy from the battery okay this is the battery pack okay you already show this image and the controller delivers this uh, electric energy to the motor 
so directly it's not uh, going to the motor we need inverter because uh, dc power is there so dc to ac converter is there okay so and then electric energy transformed to the mechanical energy and then wheel turns and vehicle moves this is how electric vehicle works okay then major factors what attracts this evs you should go this electric vehicle why so major factor we will see first is reliability and flexibility so you already know less maintenance and uh, this new models hitting the market also offer more flexibility okay car size and style also somewhat then uh, growing infrastructure yes currently uh, nowadays uh, every uh, station having charging plugged for uh, electric vehicle so i can see i am in currently bangalore so i can see the every uh, one kilometer uh, having some uh, pl charging plugged uh, for electric vehicle also so this is the growing infrastructure for evs and then affordability less expensive car okay and the maintainability also is good then public health this is the main important point uh, pollution pollution is very going to be less if you use uh, ev okay so this is uh, all about this and uh, ecosystem of ev you can see here ecosystem like it is running uh, first of all we need electricity you have uh, also knowledge about vehicle informations and money without money you can't do anything right so this all three ecosystem are is there and major factor major trends uh, vehicle informations leon battery okay renewable power and uh, smart grid and uh, v2g smart charging this all are the major trends currently so we will see smart grid what is that in uh, pre uh, next slide then uh, see uh, key system consumer is there data flow finance uh, r and d also we need climate policy okay for that also policy is there so this all about ecosystem we will see in the next infrastructure of ev okay so we will see uh, point of view user and business operator uh, user uh, like provide charging stands information for uh, local information and store information right then uh, for uh, business side you can see the food services provide convenience store other commercial facilities this is uh, for uh, business purpose uh, view and for user user side you can see user is uh, main part <laughs> then car manufacturer also is there then uh, service station <coughs> sorry ha huh. okay then uh, we need uh, this lithium ion battery and recycling reuse uh, purpose uh, uh, also maintainer so this is uh, road road side view and this is the information service for user side view okay this is uh, infrastructure then we will see the electric vehicles have uh, like uh, smart grid infrastructure home charging station and uh, this one better batteries uh, commercial charging stations power sources this all affects to the evs okay then you will see what is smart grid means uh, smart grid uh, transfer the information to this uh, power charging station to this utility okay so this is also we need for electric vehicle infrastructure also is good uh there is availability of uh, home charging station also is there financial also is good and this is power sources already their commercial all are affect to the uh, electric vehicle okay so next types of electric vehicle so four types okay first of all bev battery electric vehicle second one phv Uh, plug-in hybrid electric vehicle hev means hybrid electric vehicle okay third one is a fuel cell electric vehicle this is the four types of electric vehicle so we'll see what is the difference between this ev phv fcv and hybrid okay 
you can see this ev battery electric vehicle this is the pure electric vehicle only having a battery okay battery and motor so there is a no gasoline engine like that okay then after the you can see hybrid is there hybrid having uh, like a gasoline and also motor but uh, disadvantage for hybrid uh, is uh, there is no uh, charge for uh, gasoline uh, or uh, this battery okay both electric motor and in in internal combustion engine is there but no plugged charge but after hybrid phv is there phv means plugged also is there electric motor is there gasoline is there so this is the very uh, higher uh, electric range okay compared to the hybrid okay then fcv use fuel cell used for uh, generate electricity and you can charge and uh, this way so what you think uh, friends uh, this four is there which is the better for this so all uh, yeah uh, phv is very good compared to this one okay because there is a charging also is there and uh, gasoline engine and uh, motor connection all are good compared to this one this one, okay so next comparison between electric and petrol vehicle so prime mover for electric vehicle is electric motor here in petrol you can see uh, ic engine and electric vehicle powered by charged battery and ultra and here petrol diesel petrol see you can see self weight uh, for electric vehicle high and here low and uh, in electric uh, mechanical also part is there and uh, electrical also power uh, transmission available but in petrol only mechanical okay so electric vehicle for uh, braking system is uh, also we can regenerate here frac friction braking is there petrol for efficiency for electric vehicle high here low you uh, eco friendly obviously electric vehicle having uh, more than compared to petrol initial cost uh, electric vehicle is high okay for uh, compared to petrol and running cost is like low okay service service system is low for electric petrol we need a service system uh, frequently okay this is the difference between electric and petrol next uh, we will see neo ep9 name of the high speed ev this is the high speed ev car this, this is uh, produced by neo company ep9 see the name ep9 stands for electric performance 9 Okay, EP9 is named electric performance. This Neo uh, is a Chinese uh, product. Okay, so two-seater sports car manufactured by Neo. Okay, uh, this formula they used the e-racing division. You can search in Google also. This will uh, very huge. <laughs> okay, so then this is one megawatt supercar with uh, 265 miles. range okay top speed 194 uh, mile per hour okay each of ep9s will has its own motor and transmission here four wheel is there four will have own uh, motor okay this is that's why this is the high speed ev and uh, this makes uh, like a world record okay you can see here are are ha ah. this is the world record for the fastest lap by electric vehicle for the circuit house okay the this is the so i have one uh, short video for this uh, neo ep9 uh, first model tester so they uh, testing this uh, ep9 speed vehicle okay so i have video so i i am going to show you that uh, video here so i think uh, sound is audible to you na okay see sound is not audible
you know sound is not audible hmm? sound is not audible of video yeah audible Wait a. Uh. Yeah, no problem. You can just uh, go through the video, and link will be provided. later uh, it's a video uh, pavisha yeah hello uh, okay uh, yeah. i'll share or not this is audible na now yeah yeah you can audible okay okay i uh, you can go through next slide so and uh, we will put this video link in our Okay. 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 We will see the next slide is okay. Top. Ten electric vehicle manufacturer companies in India: Mahindra, first one; Tata Motors, Hyundai, Ashok, and Lohia Auto. Twenty-two motors and BYD, MG Motors, Ola Electric, and uh, Ather Energy. Uh, this is the top ten. Okay, brand. Then after electric vehicle sales. in india you can see here uh, year 2015 to 16 it will uh, here uh, 20000 model two wheeler for that four wheeler 2000 then it will up to growing this uh, in 2019 20 here okay so kerala having plans to have uh, 1 million electric vehicles on road by 2022 okay currently it's running and 6000 electric buses in service by uh, 2025 okay this is having kerala plan in telangana also aims to ev sales target for 2025 to achieve 80% of two and three wheelers 70% commercial cars and uh, 40% buses and 30% private cars also 50 15% uh, also uh, all uh, electrification vehicles all are avail available this is the having uh, two plans currently major okay so next is ev market key players in india maruti suzuki aditya birla hindustan copper limited exide ashok this all are uh, key players currently and then global key players Ten most popular. I have uh, see that uh, first of all Tesla is there, then Audi is there, Jaguar, Mercedes, BMW, then Nissan, Kia, Hyundai, Tesla, Renault. All are this uh, global key players for EVs. Then EV infrastructure hurdles. So what is the hurdles means? Uh, if any obstacle comes between uh, this EV, so Thirty percent electric vehicles on road to buy electric uh, in by two thousand thirty. So this is the major issue here: electric power. Okay, sixteen thousand uh, crore units uh, increase in power demands. So in future we need electric power demands for that uh, EV. Okay, so this is uh, see. E one thirty eight nine one zero units uh, power generated in India two thousand nineteen and twenty. Okay, this is the power generated one thirty eight, and here uh, power demand in one thirty nine. So this is the major issue you can see here eight fifty six where we can get for this EV. 
So this is the power issue generated by this EV. Obviously, India has challenged this uh, quite different compared to this uh, international market. So electricity is a major issue for that. So let's see what happen in future. Then acknowledgement by uh, reviewer, thanks to technological enhancement, e-cars are getting greener all the time. So review uh, coming from uh, overall uh, India, and this is a good uh, review. You can say batteries are becoming more and more powerful and durable. Okay, so this is all, uh, and also reduce the carbon footprint of e-cars. Okay, real alternative of gasoline and diesel engines. So this is overall good. Then this is the end of the session. <laughs> Guys, sorry for that. Uh, I cannot show to you video, video and somewhat I miss the information. Okay, because of some uh, time management issue is there. So thank you for uh, listening to me. And this is from my side. Uh, if you have any doubt, then also ask in LinkedIn. And uh, I already shared to you this profile link. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Mina. Thank you for this uh, yeah. webinar. And uh, you can also provide the uh, smart how to smart grid can provide the EV charging and difference between different different types of EV and CHV. Yes. What is the cell cell of EV in the India? And you can also the uh, introduce like global global key players and national key yes. players of EV. So yes. thanking you yes. and on behalf of Parul University, I really heartily thank what of thanks to our chief guest, Ms. Poonam Nashid, mm -hmm. okay. who spent the valuable time for our webinar. So thank you, Ms. Uh, okay, welcome. Thank you so much. So okay, so I am going to stop this. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you for okay. all joining this session. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. I need out. It's good out, Sadiq. Thank you. Thank you.